This is the Big Brother quiz. Housemates, your first question. Oh, fuck. A book that Michelle thought was a work of non-fiction. Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. The Harry Potter series. <laughs> Where does Vern's head come up to? Your testicle area. Balls. Your testicles, Balls. Big Brother. Balls. <laughs> Next question. How do we know Ben has a large penis? Michelle eats it all the time. I don't. No, no, no. Brothers Big Mouth. Uh, right, okay. Joining us tonight, a man who has won four Asian Music Awards, a ceremony that rumor has it will be hosted by Prince Harry next year. A gentleman Prince Harry would refer to as a very talented musician. It's Jay Sean. And if you or I were found to have a series of photographs of Pixie Geldof flashing her lady fairy as she tumbled out of a rickshaw, we'd be put on a special register. But because it's this man's job, he gets his photos and not his address printed in the tabloids. It's Mr Paparazzi and entrepreneur Darren Lyons. <laughs> and a group of people who are big fans of Tina Malone because they're all extras in Shameless, it's the studio audience. <laughs> And if you want to join in the debate, you can get in touch by phone and text, or you can send us an email, but most of you will probably be using your computers to watch porn, as, of course, that's primarily <laughs> what the internet is for. I did notice Vern kept very quiet during that discussion. Anyway, <laughs> if you want to get involved, you know what to do. So, uh, Vern's treat for the task was a meal of fish and chips. Mmm, tasty. Uh, although he was put off a little bit when Tina told her story of how her local chippy got closed down by the Food Standards Agency. It's funny, butter. Uh, the task uh, involved explaining British things to American housemates. Things like uh, the British cabbie, whom you have to pay loads of money for, then put up with them spouting racist shit. Or the British royal family, whom you have to pay loads of money for, then put up with them spouting racist <laughs> shit. Sorry, enough about Prince Harry. He's let himself down, he's let his dad down, and he's also let Prince Charles down. Sorry, I mean, <laughs> he's let his dad, Prince Charles, down. My mistake. So, Coolio claimed that if this was a US show, two people would have already had sex. Having said that, the last show he was on was a cooking program, and last time I checked, those were pretty sex-free. You know, I don't remember <laughs> turning on my TV and hearing, in the Red Kitchen, Gary Rhodes is preparing a beef casserole, and in the Green Peppers Kitchen, Anthony Worrell Thompson has just offered Ainsley Harrier to tip wang. <laughs> Julio also talked over the weekend about how he got caught at customs smuggling drugs in his shoe. What an idiot. Everyone knows that you're meant to struggle them up your ass. Although, maybe there wasn't enough room up there with his head so far up there. He also boasted that he'd found out you don't want to go to jail by going to jail, and you don't want to get shot by getting shot. Let's just hope he never wonders the circumference of a dog's anus. Or else Pooch will have a limp. So, having said that, Ladies Man Coolio did really enjoy the aerobics task. Uh, it did a lot for his street cred, namely destroying it. But although his mind said no, deep down, he was giving it a standing ovation. Oh! Oh! This is a Swedish guy, isn't it, who remakes... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, whilst that quenched Coolio's horn, uh, poor Terry also seemed to be missing his wife. But he's found a perfect way to purge those emotions. Instead of saucy aerobics videos, he's taken to using Ben as a rent boy. Well, he's fucking great value for money. For me, I kind of need someone to like him around. I know it sounds mad. And I don't know. <laughs> he's out of order at times, but it's the out of orderness that I like about him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tina also revealed to Latoya a very harsh but hilarious prank she made when she hypnotised Michelle. When anybody says also, anything, you know, she shits herself. <laughs> 
American housemates had to forget about their nation for a while, though, and embrace British culture for the, for the task. Uh, to be fair, there was nothing American about the task at all, nothing American whatsoever about several people in fluorescent jumpsuits getting tortured and electrocuted because of American incompetence. <laughs> now, we've decided actually to recreate the ingenious electrocution task. We have actually wired a member of the studio audience up, and he's in one of these little gimp suits. We thought... <laughs> he looks pretty good. Uh, Darren, Jay Sean, welcome to the show. We're going to be asking you some questions. If you get them wrong, he's going to get electrocuted. Great. So the pressure's on. <laughs> right, you're going to deliberately get them wrong. Uh, all right, OK, first question for you, Darren, is how many children does Ulrika have? Four. Yes. Four. Mm. <laughs> by four. Four by four. Yeah. Four that she knows of. There might be other ones. Give me an electric shot just to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. <laughs> the, uh... No, that's harsh, that's harsh. Jay Sean. <laughs> Jay There's no wires, so I can tell it's not there really. Is, no, it's a little Where's pack. The... It's a little pack here. Sorry. I'm... Oh, wow. Little pack. It's a very large pack. Uh, the, uh, it's not a little. I like the fact that he hasn't even bothered panning. Yeah, it's That's great, you know? Sort of the future. Your yeah. question is yes. how many animals does Mootya own? Uh, sorry, man. Ten. <laughs> the answer is ten. I'm afraid. Yeah, ten. So give him a little shock. So after what are you to enjoy it? The, I saw that as well. Just you make sure nothing. Was that a gerbil? Yeah. yeah. I think we might have to towel down that seat. Okay, right, next question. Final question. Easy one. What number am I thinking of? Four. Mm, 4.5. Give me another shot. <laughs> the, so enough of that. Um, you're all right there. Okay, good. Uh, like, like Kate Winslet's Golden Globes acceptance speech, Ben Shell has given us tears, more tears, and a woman in a relationship showing really weird sexually provocative behaviour towards a celebrity who's far fitter than her actual partner. But is it for real? Oh, please say it is. Let's have a look at the evidence. Do you think somebody is, uh... A little bit infatuated with somebody. Depends if you want them seedy or not. Have y'all never thought about shagging? No. I bet she has. Shut the fuck up, seriously, because you're going to get people in trouble. He's making something, like, out of absolutely nothing at it really upset me. Have you noticed that two people are in love in this, this whole little thing? Yes, I have. <laughs> I am absolutely not interested in, in splitting up, A, splitting up someone's relationship, never do that, and B, I don't see Michelle like that. So, Next shot, a Hello Magazine wedding that looks like it's been designed by Liberace. OK, we've called this discussion Ben Shell. Jay Sean, yes. uh, do you reckon there is anything going on between them? I think uh, what I think is happening, I think Ben fancies her, but he's sort of... He's not admitting it. Uh, it's really obvious that he's not admitting it, by the way, that, especially when he was in the diary room. He said, there's just no, um, um... Um, chemistry. <laughs> it's, do you know what I'm saying? He's he was like, with his hands as well. He's like, yeah, I wasn't he was a bit the scared. <laughs> you could... it's, it's all so psychological. I think really he, he's, he's feeling her. Yeah, you, he's feeling her. It's, in it's her seat. Urban <laughs> talk, man. Get with it. There Get with it. It's the urban talk. Uh, no, she, he's in there now. <laughs> the, uh, what do, you, do you reckon, Darren? So it would be a good celebrity couple. Would it sell papers? No. I no. mean, I mean, I mean it's, it's, it's totally predictable, actually. I mean, he actually has got an uncanny res resemblance, but like Michelle's ex-husband. It, that is quite un uncanny. Yeah, is quite but I've got to tell you, this is a mountain out of a molehill. It's just been beaten up to try and get a bit of interest in there at the moment, because Ben is so bloody boring. Yeah. Lovely bloke, yeah, yeah. but bloody boring. The, um... And, of course, Michelle, really, hasn't a lot, lot to offer either. So, really, it's doing us all a favour, but footballers... Posh and Bex, Becky and Palace, Becky and Brother, no chance. Not going to happen. <laughs> no interest in it whatsoever. Um, and th there was talk. Do we think it's real? Does anyone in the audience think it's real? You don't believe it? I think she fancies him, but he has got no interest at all. No, no interest, interest at all. all. No, Although no. he's enjoying her, like, moving around. But he's enjoying being king of the castle, there's yeah. no doubt about it. Trying to be cool. Hey, of course, A1 was so bloody cool. Oh, they were. <laughs> <laughs> they were. <laughs> they, uh, Sorry. They, as well, Latoya mentioned the eye talk thing. We noticed that, like, him, you know, shifting up to her, like, oh, I, I really don't want to have sex with you at all. And then a little, <laughs> yeah, yeah, little bit of eye talk. Because yeah. that's what, and, you know, writing things on his eyelids and stuff. There is maybe <laughs> something going on that we're not seeing, or is it very transparent? There's nothing going on at all. What do we reckon? Anyone think that there's anything there? There's nothing going on. It's just 
Coolio has been playing on their mind so much that they're starting to actually believe it's happening now. But really, it's it's nothing. Yeah, there any, we normally have some nice, well. like, sex-obsessed boys in the audience that would make any... You would like to imagine that it is. You're not a sex-obsessed boy. You're a lovely... You're a beautiful girl. They've done a wonderful job. The, really nice. No, I think, that, I think that Ben and Michelle are going to get together at the end. It would be I think, quite sweet. No, I, cause, like, Outside she's, the house, Yeah, because she's got a boyfriend and she's admitted it and he's got a girlfriend and I think, like, they're going to get together afterwards and then sell the stories and I think that's how it's going to happen. OK, maybe there's subtle Never. things that we're not noticing, like during the task, the she had that, that massive shock in her ass, and maybe he's <laughs> round the back going, well, it's hurting anyway, ben, I'm just saying things ben can be happening. Ben last three girlfriends on Facebook. Yeah. I mean, that says a lot about the bloke. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't get out much. The poor guy, though. That's, I mean... Oh, no. uh, does, oh. is that, we like Ben, some girls, yeah. and maybe fancy Ben. Yeah. I like Ben. I think Ben's... I think he's lovely. He's a bit, oh. bit quiet. It's a bit... A bit quiet, but he's good-looking. Would you... Ulrika, Ulrika said... Ulrika said it was like he was comatose. He's just a waste of space. Yeah, he's just a So much anger, so much anger. Right, time now for some unseen footage, and it seems Coolio is still on Ben Shell's case. What did you, you tell your girlfriend? Shut up, Coolio, seriously. Can you take your girl back out, man? Shut up! Dude. Tell her to be Not quiet. cool at talk, all. Talk to your girl, man. Seriously, See, if, No, no, but no, but can no, I can no, say... No, 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 oh, really, shh, no. Do we really need to get into this again? But, you know, he's only doing it because he's bored. You know, he doesn't help, but... Wow. <laughs> that, that looked like the most fucked-up family photo I've ever seen, <laughs> that little fire room. <laughs> The, uh, so, what do you make of that Coolio winding up? Are we enjoying uh, dysfunctional. that? Dysfunctional. Um, yeah. No, what are, I mean, Coolio is deliberately doing it. Of course, he's playing the game. He's trying to be really, really important uh, cog in the house. I mean, the whole thing with Coolio is he's trying to make himself even more famous in the UK. So, he's playing the game and no, he's no, playing it incredibly well. Famous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the, uh, that's true. I mean, and he feels threatened by Ben with his massive amount of fame, clearly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> do you think... What I'm saying uh, is, you know what it is? At the end of the day, even if there is a romance, <clears throat> like these guys said, it's really it's boring as hell. It's, who do, wants to watch that? Do you think that? maybe, it's though, so it's a jealousy fancy, on nah? Coolio's behalf? A little well, bit. Do you think it's maybe a jealousy on Coolio's behalf? Because he seems Listen, like a bit of a dog. I reckon <laughs> if Coolio had a chance, right, he'd probably sprat Vern. Do you know what I mean? He'd probably, like... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he's missing, missing his, 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 his stuff. Listen, I don't want to say that because it was Gangster's Paradise, man. I don't want to... You know and I mean, I'll but, see you when you get there. No, but what I'm saying is, it's like, he just, he's trying to touch anything, isn't he? He's just yeah. like... Even the sofa. <laughs> he, he'd have burned Scooter if he could. Yeah. The, um, OK, that's all for part one, but before we go, here's something to whet your appetite. Oh, no. That's what I orchestrated anyway. Admit it. Celebrity Snapper, who is on the Australian version of Dragon's Den, which is just like the English version, but probably with more barbecue-related inventions, and without that moody, grumpy woman that claims to have expertise in literally every single field of business, despite the fact that she essentially runs a caravan park. She's out, but he's still in. It's Darren Lyons. <laughs> And I'm sure if Darren was looking to bunk up with a successful hip-hop musician, he'd still be in and ready to make this man an offer for 100% of his business. It's soul star Jay Sean. <laughs> and a group of people who, if they were on Dragon's Den, would be like those special ones that have invented things like condoms for bears. It's the studio audience. <laughs> so... I don't know whether you have noticed that at every single possible opportunity, Tina mentions either pissing, shitting or vomiting, <laughs> or giving the chance all three at the same time. Now, rather than this just be a disturbing image burnt into my brain, some good should come of it, which is why here at Big Mouth, we've set up this special Tina appeal. Yes, every time Tina mentions pissing herself, shitting herself or vomiting, we'll fill up one of these buckets, and if they get to the top by the end of the week, I'll do some community service and go to, like, an old people's home and listen to their stories about the war. So, what, what's she been saying this week? On Thursday at 10.59, she said she near pissed, shit and vomited herself all at the same time. So a little, little top-up of these three here. 
on Saturday, when Big Brother told her that they weren't going to supply any more toilet roll, she said, I'll piss there, Van. I'll piss on the grass and wipe my fucking hoop on the grass. <laughs> so that little bit in the piss. And on Sunday, she said, I've eaten a bowl of shit with cardboard round it. I'm dead serious. I'm not joking. So into the shit barrel. Wicked. So whenever she uses an expression now, don't think of it as offensive. Just think of it as an old man smiling at me in a kind of <laughs> pervy way. Uh, right, OK. Uh, now, Ulrika Johnson uh, survived the public vote on Friday, but her and Terry's relationship is already on the rocks. First up, she called him by her husband's name. Then they had an argument. She went off to the bedroom and started sulking, and they haven't had sex for over a week. They <laughs> just like a married couple. But how and why is this happening? Let's see how it's developed. Oh, Terry. He was a nice, happy, decent bloke with lots of knowledge. Which housemate do you think has the most inflated ego? Ulrika Johnson. Oh my God, he can't even oh, remember. <laughs> Everything seems to get on her nerves a bit about me. Come here. There's actually a thing in her that she thinks that she's better than everybody else here. I think he fancies me. Right. No, I'm kidding. I was <laughs> joking. He's got something in his bonnet about me. There are times when I feel like you're a bit high-handed. We'll have a conversation. And I don't actually think he hears what I'm saying. He carries on his thing. It sounds when you saw him. But what? I think you're a bit better than the rest. Well, the fact is, I am better than the rest. <laughs> She is getting very grouchy, uh, understandably, and this is the longest time she has spent not pregnant. So, <laughs> we have called this discussion Terry and Ulrika getting frosty. Jay Sean, um, who do you reckon is going to win this, this showdown? Uh, well, Terry kind of sort of is starting to be a bit apologetic now, isn't he? He's starting to be a bit like, oh, I didn't mean yeah, it. Yeah, he's trying to make it better. Yeah. It would just be easier for him to lie, though, wouldn't it, when he's doing all this stuff? Because he's, he's very honest and he's very forward with her, and then she gets really annoyed. Yeah, I think she, you know, she just wants... She wants out, and it? it's obvious she wants to just get out. See, so, yeah. See her check. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> what do you reckon, Darren? I certainly do don't think there's going to be a new car come out called 5x5, five five, put it that five way. 5x5. <laughs> but I, I also think it is a, is a battle of the TV heavyweights. It's the anchor battle. Yeah. And it's actually a massive battle of the egos, but also both incredibly insecure. And I think that th I think this is going to get worse and worse. Ulrika has really got a bee in a bonnet now. And Terry, I'm sorry, buddy. He's trying to get it back now. It's yeah. not going to happen, mate. Yeah. And the fancying thing, is that complete rubbish? No, rubbish. no I think they hate each other's absolute intestinals. Yeah, in, OK, so and, there's, and no, that... there's no love at all in there. It's just all hatred and bile. Well, and I, think I think actually there's been too much love in the whole camp now. Yeah. It's about time because, it's you know, yeah. some of it has been watching paint dry, yeah, yeah. you know, mm. and at least there is a little bit of an antagonism coming in. At least if they had sex yeah. with the angry sex. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? <laughs> like, scratching the back and shit. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's about to sound like a pervert. Um, I've come to you again. I always do this. Pervert. And I don't no, you're not. No, I'm just saying, it's a problem of mine and I've got to get over it. Um, hello, nice man that is not perverse in any way at all. He's probably in a relationship. Now, why do you think they don't get on? Because he was honest. He, he came out honest. and said that he, like, bitched about her. And, and you think if he had lied, it wouldn't have happened? No. No. I, don't think so. I reckon Eureka just has... She really does have a big head and she's just so up her own ass she can't even see what he's really like. Do you think Terry's really upsetting her? Yeah. Do you think she's like so good? Happening. She yeah. wants him to follow her and it's not happening. He's yeah, just not yeah. interested. Not at all in yeah. any yeah. shit. Who else can you support him? I think Terry fancies Eureka. He fancies the pants off. What? That's why. Yes, So... Jay, do you reckon there's anything there? Any truth to that? No. Oh, I don't look at her. It looks as if they're from another planet. She How looks can like they fancy each other. She looks all right there, though. Oh, still. He's from Manchester. Beast and the Beast. Or Beauty and the Beast. Either way, what do you want? They've got more chance of getting it on than Ben and Michelle. No, no. What? Oh, we got Terry fans in. Who's a fan of Terry's? Yeah. I like him. Oh, so you, guys, you like Terry? Yeah, I like him. He seems all right. He seems pretty honest. 
I, I think he's right. Honestly, is important. Four accidents, which hey, is good. Buddy, you, your flies are undone. <laughs> My flies are undone. Oh, sorry. I get excited. He, um, it was him, the father. He, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. He didn't. He didn't. Um, I, I think one of the attractions is actually that they are both being incredibly honest in there, and yeah. I think that like, that can make for great television. Yeah. And that's what's caused the clash. That I bit when he came out of the diary room, and, yeah. he, and he was very like forthwith with her, Indeed. and then Tina did it, and she lied because yeah. you know it's so much easier just to lie and go behind people's back on this Absolutely. show. Absolutely. Um, but do we, is there anyone that agrees that maybe he should have just lied and it would have been far easier? I, I, think, well, I, I, I personally think that he said what we're all thinking. You know, she is a bit of a slapper. You know, she is a very, very <laughs> upper own ass, and you yeah. know, she got told the truth, and she don't like it. You know? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Don't get all Kilroy on me. I don't want that. Right. Uh, early on today, housemates nominated for the first time. Here's Tina in the diary room. I think she's quite superficial. I think she's quite shallow. She spends too long preening herself. She kind of makes out she's really kind of insecure and bothered about how she looks, but then will kind of prance around in a towel when there's no reason, when it's like Siberia outside. All right, so who do we reckon she was talking about there, Darren? Michelle. Uh, I, it was, it was, who said Michelle? Because bear in mind that guy with the electrocution things, he's still wired up, so if you get it wrong again, <laughs> the, uh, we don't know who it is, but do we reckon it's Michelle? I think she's talking about a week or maybe. Because no. I think what? Tina's a little bit, I think Tina's a little bit of a backstabber. Michelle, but they're sisters. Yeah. No, 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 Tina's no? a backstabber, different backstabber. And what? She's floating around, she's floating around everywhere. She knows what she's doing. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I hate when people sit on the fence on this show. The uh, Michelle. I don't think you even need this mic. Uh, who do we think is going to be off this week? Who do you think we'll get? One at a time. Uh, other side of the audience, who do we reckon is going to go? I think Ben to go. See, it's a comparison here. Shut up. No, it's fine. I hope not Ulrika. I think she's lovely. No. Okay, I hope not Ulrika. <laughs> Who do you reckon? Who do you reckon it's going to be? Last one. Vernon Latoya and get some decent celebrities in there. Whoa! <laughs> okay, that's all we have time for tonight. Thanks very much to the wonderful Jay Sean and Darren Lyons and our wonderful studio audience. Join us tomorrow night at the end.